I know what I did. Can you hear us now? One more time. <laughs> we're professionals, we swear. Am I that idiot? Yep, all right. Yeah. I know what I did. I'm an idiot. It's okay. okay. Um, hello. Okay. Welcome to Homebrews and Homebodies. Where we are absolutely professionals. 100% professionals. Never would have guessed anything else. Uh, welcome to our new Monday night show, Gilded Dreams, which is a Call of Cthulhu campaign with our very special guest, Michael Meyer Saltzman. Um, Hello! We are so excited to bring this to you guys. Uh, we've been working very hard on our characters that very well might just die whenever. Uh, I know I have not created a backup character yet. I think Drew did. <laughs> Drew's the only one who thought ahead and made a backup character. Um, and he's the one who's going to be with us the least amount of time. <laughs> But he was on top of yeah. it. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so thank you again for joining us. Um, we have our Thursday show starting at 8.30, right? Yes. So okay. sorry. Just <laughs> we have our Thursday show starting at 8.30. It's our One Ring campaign. We're super, super excited to go into that. Um, I can't wait to get all dressed up in my elf garb. So I'm excited. Um, I have a corset and that's the best anybody is getting. <laughs> and then you can catch Mal and I still over at Ladies of D&D on Ladies of Lake on Fridays at 9 o'clock, 9.30, yep. 9 o'clock, um, as Cherry and Henley kicking butt in Arthuria yep. fully as our 80s girl rock, rock crew. Band. <laughs> so, and our lovely manager. Yep. Uh, so I think that is about it. Um, yeah. I can't think of anything else. My brain is fried because uh, obviously we had zero technical problems before this. So oh, I'm they went fresh so and ready to go. It's the best, uh, smoothest tech call we've ever had. So good. <laughs> so good. Um, so without further ado, here's our trailer. So, 
our characters find themselves find themselves uh, coming to in an unfamiliar place somehow all together. Um, you can find yourself standing on the shore of what appears to be a very large lake. The uh, shore itself is made up of like smooth glacial rock. You can see the water receding to the skyline. Off to your right are what appear to be tall pine trees leading into a high mountain range. The mountains look close. They're very large, but it's it's impossible to tell how far away they are. The, um, the sun's low in the sky, and it seems a little bigger and a little redder than you're used to. You have no recollection of how you got here, or maybe of each other necessarily, unless you already do. From your normal experience. All right. I will transfer us all over. Let's go. Oh, look. I'm actually very proud of how this one turned out. <laughs> We're professionals. We're we professionals. promise. We know. We're doing great. Okay, so we just wake up at a lake. You're not even waking up. You just find yourself standing there, suddenly aware of your surroundings. Uh. Dude. Last you knew, you were living your normal life in New York. Dude, where the hell are we? Don't look me. me. I don't know. I don't recognize the geographical location. Or the, or the, the, the sun. The sun looks kind of weird, weird, too. too. What would I need to roll to try and get a sense of where I was? That's a great question. Let's look at a sheet here. Gosh, it's been so long since I played. Oh, yeah, me too. It's done before times. Natural history. Would geology? I mean, is it geology, geology or geography? geography? What about geology. National world or like natural that, history? Navigate? Oh, there's, oh, navigate. There it is. What do you think? If you find move somewhere, you could navigate. Um, let's see. Just give me a. How am I not seeing it? You know, there's not a spot hidden. There's natural around, history or like this. natural world. Nearby, um, behind you, as you look away, you can see a very tall spire like structure. It's kind of a brownish, goldish color. It's hitting the, the light is hitting it very. It's it's something you haven't seen before, um, with what appears to be a large open, open doorway. doorway. Do I have my camera with me? Maybe really weird, like a very irregular, clearly built but very strange structure. No, I do apologize. Video Ninja is not happy with audio today. Uh, yeah, it's... It's happening again. Oh. Video Ninja! <laughs> Maybe we broke the code. The Ninja we code. Did. It's yeah. completely possible. We broke the whole thing. Are we holding till we fix this? Yeah, give me like just okay. a second. No problem, just making sure. True, out of curiosity, not that I think that this will necessarily do anything it's just because of how we normally do things. Do you have headphones? Me? No, no true. I do and uh, I'm gonna try them out. Just for a second, just to see. Ryan, you usually have headphones in too. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, Ryan's got his in ears. 
I don't think it's going to make a difference. I don't like it well either, but I'll, we'll, we can try. Because it's but, not like registering. You're totally fine, by the way. The person that's in that chat. Do not apologize. We no, thank you. <gasps> for some reason, audio is always what breaks for us. It's never visual. It's always audio. I feel like visuals would be easier to fix. I stopped doing sound design because audio engineering is madness, so I'm not really surprised. Yeah, agreed. Uh, all right. You hear me better? I'm not actually hearing anything through here. Oh, we haven't strange. talked. Can you hear anything? Can you hear us? Um, boop, boop, boop. Oh, I know what the deal is. Can you hear me? I'm not hearing anything through these headphones, which it says I'm connected, though. Can I hear you. And your audio output destination is set as the headphones. All right. How can he answer me? He can't hear me. Yeah, I know. That's why I typed it. <laughs> really? You can tell I'm a smart guy. We're doing such a good job, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, honestly these, these are the exact same problems, problems that happened when we just played online and didn't stream it. We would be like, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. This just happens like, to me every time. Just like not in front of an audience of people. <laughs> it's fine. Welcome to how our channel usually functions. Well, it's, um, honestly, I've been trying to really get accustomed to the lay of the land in TTRPG streaming, and it seems like this is a pretty common thing that happens. The audio is always <laughs> It's always audio every time. I will never understand. Audio will always be the problem. Um, okay, you guys talk really fast. Hello. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How you doing? Does everybody like the way this sounds? That's better. change something on my end. Okay, okay Drew, talk. talk. Can you hear us? I, I bet you he took out the headphones and did not disconnect the headphones. Yeah. Or anything. Hold on. Hold on. For those that are just rolling in, thanks for coming on in. Also, we're just dealing with tech gremlins real quick. Uh, and then we'll be good to go. Tech gremlins are a very regular occurrence for us, unfortunately. We don't know why, but they fight us constantly. Is that better? Can you hear us? Can you hear anything? Yay! I'm getting zero audio in. Okay. Um, okay. Not it. Um, I really like the layout. It looks really cool. Hey. Yeah, I'm stoked about that. And I really like everybody's character images. I have a very immediately clear idea of who people are. I feel good about it. Or maybe that's just me being judgy based on appearances, actually. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I would say that Hazel is exactly what she comes off as, but I would say she she comes off the way she would like people to see her. And that's just Rachel Weiss. Yep. It's actually not, but it's- Oh, it's not? Close. No. Oh. Because I was like, that's copyrighted. I'm sure she has- Oh, yeah. To her own image. Probably. Trademarked her own image. But I bet this senator that I used from 120 years ago doesn't. And then I photoshopped his face on top of um, Ernest Hemingway and gave him a gut.
this one second. We're going to lose Drew for just a second. That's okay. okay. We'll figure it back out. It's all right. And he will pop right back in. Does the sound at least sound better now? Hopefully. I mean, I just checked it and I think it sounds exactly the same on like our ninja as it does in the actual stream. Okay. I think the ninja sounds better now because I missed with one setting on my end. Ooh. Chat, does sound sound better? Less feedback? Hopefully. I keep forgetting there's a delay. Yep. Because I'm yep. like, why is no one answering? Oh, God. That's why you have to get good when you want chat to roll the dice and in chat. You have to say it and then stall for 30 seconds until it catches up. Oh, I don't think I realized that. This is my first and Twitch, so. Less feedback. Oh, okay. I'm quiet. I'm sorry. I'll turn up my audio. I keep it down because uh, I can hear myself. And I hate it. Um... Drew, can you hear us? Tried everything, nothing worked. I had to give up on it. That's okay. No, I fixed something on my end. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you're good now. We're trying to get it so you could hear it. Yeah, that was a good like five minutes. I heard absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's kind of weird. Here, just a second. There are so many things that happen in like a tech call that we're like, yeah, everything's good, and then you go live and it's like, nope, everything everything's breaks. Everything's not good. Immediately broken. In this one moment, everything will break. Okay. And I love to see it. Okay. Yes, cat. Like Cornish game hens. Perfect. The whole reason when we when we streamed uh when we were doing the like um during pandemic filming from home from actually, um the whole reason we had to use a site that let you record to your disc and then upload it is because of how regularly stuff like this happened, even with like super professional setups. So <laughs> And the only way to ensure that we didn't lose somebody's like whole feed because of it yeah. uh, was to make sure it was being saved to their mm -hmm. disk. Is yeah. this better for me? Ooh, I can start got some here. resonance. Oh, thanks. It's got some NPRness going on. Turn up my gain and put it closer to my face. ASMR right now. Right now, ASMR. Yeah. Welcome to Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu edition. ASMR. Thank you. It's just going to be the sound of wet things slapping against each other oh, <laughs> i am opening the necronomicon i'm flipping I'm through the pages from the book that i found that i should definitely read from <laughs> starting on the first page yep this is this is what oh. everybody wanted when Do not read like, the book of the dead. Dead. yeah i'm gonna exactly i'm gonna fully easy read from the book of the dead mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm definitely gonna read it out loud for everyone that's what you do. Uh, okay, we we're back we to where we were. Okay, so somebody was rolling to navigate. His camera. Yes. Sorry, does Fischl have his camera? Oh, yes. Does, does Fischl have his camera? Uh, I'm immediately going to... I want to take a snapshot of that, of that structure immediately. <laughs> It's not very far away from you. It's, I mean, maybe four or five hundred feet away, up That's the floor a little bit. Yeah, I want to like. I'm trying to just like document what I'm seeing because immediately I'm just kind of like, well, this is weird, and that's my instinct. Reginald pulls up. Reginald pulls out a notepad and starts writing everything down. Like I could really use this in my next book. just so she has it in her notebook. Um, I think 
Hazel probably also takes a picture of it, but hers is more so she can use it for art later and not really for anything else. As you're standing there doing these things, you'll notice that other than the slight lapping of the water against the shore, there's not any other sound. You're not hearing the sound of seabirds or of wind moving through the air. It's utterly silent. You don't see anything, even birds out near the, the forest. You're not seeing any kind of movement. Everything is still and quiet other than the water. So is the, wait, did you say the water was moving or wasn't moving? A little bit, just the way that lakes do. You know, you get a little bit of lapping, but you don't get like waves. Um, Could I? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, um, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to do it. Uh, are there rocks on the ground? Like, yeah, like rocks? those like smoothed out, like glacial kind of rocks, you know, that you'd see in like the Great Lakes. Probably plenty of them are good for skipping that sort of rock. Yep. Evelyn's going to pick one of those up and give it a good old toss and Keep it on top of the water and see what happens. Give me a throw roll. Okay. Always good to throw that. <laughs> I got a 38. I have a 10. In so, throw? Yeah, we only have, we only start with a 10 in throw. The default on my sheet is a 25 in throw. I mean, you yeah, fail either way, but. Yeah, for me, 25. Oh, okay. Well, either way, you fail on my sheet. I got a 38, but I did fail. Uh, how many would, How many luck points would I need to make it not a failure? 13. Not worth it. I'll take it. Yeah, so you, you throw it, but you knife it a little bit too far down, and it just slips into the water. That's okay. How long have. How how long have I been traveling with you all? What what, what how did we get here? The last no time idea. You know, I was in a library. Wait, who are you guys? Museum? Wait. I know you. Hazel? Well, yes, well, yes I, I obviously know you. We work, work together, together quite, quite often. often. Hello, Hazel. Official. Hello. Hello, Evie. Hello, Evie. Reginald. Can I roll uh, a psychology hello. a psychology check on myself to see if I've had like a mental break? Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Six. Did anything happen with the stone in the water? Like did in the my water explore. actually move? It acted like water. Okay. Just perfectly normal to your experience. Okay. My psychology is 70, I rolled a 60. All right, a success. Beautiful. Yep, we lost Ruby for a sec. Oop, maybe. Yeah, yeah apparently my video disappeared again. Change. Huh. That's okay. It. That's fine. It. Uh, Roll the stealth check. Faces. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, you succeeded on stealth. It's fine. Hmm. I'll come back. It'll, it, cool. it'll come back. Give me just a second. So, as far as this goes, you don't have any. Any recollection of any kind of a break? You feel, I mean, you feel like normal in the sense that you would in this situation where you've just arrived at a strange place with no memory, but you don't feel overly, you know, manic or, there we go, you know, after a spike of anxiety or hungover or anything strange like that. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm a bit lost right now. Um, I think that makes the four of us. Evie's going to get a little closer to the doorway and see what she can notice, I guess, if, like, what she can pick up from the doorway. Um, you said it's about four or five hundred feet away, but it's big enough that you can notice it from there. It's sort of like an arched um, cathedral doorway. 
Looks like a double door that splits and opens in the middle. Oh, so the door is closed? It is ajar. Oh, it's ajar. Mm-hmm. Well, I should probably turn on the music. All right. Um, can I roll a, a, I think this would be history, or wait, is there an architecture? Hold on. Oh, no, it's the history. Well, there there is an I don't think there, there is. Be, but if you don't have points in it, don't worry about it. I was just going to do should. history to see if I recognize this building in any way. Okay. Absolutely. 20. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I guess it rolls when I shake it. it does. Probably. Um, well, it was a 23, I swear. Um, uh, and uh, I have a 35 in history. You have 20? I have a 35 in history, and I, I rolled a, um, a 23. 23, all right. Yeah. yeah, there it is. It's not overtly familiar to you um, from what you know about it. Like, there are things, of course, that are that are like familiar elements, like right. this is right. The thing that stands out to you most about it is it seems more intricately carved, more precisely carved than a lot of things you would normally see, even among like like fine cathedral uh, architecture. Like it's very the way it spirals up out of the ground it's very um first word it's got all sorts of like pits and ribs in it oh it, oh it's kind of like like work stone but in a way that seems very precisely done like very machined but still evokes a sense of Capture it like a, a sense of um, sculpture, like it's referencing something more real. I think I'm gonna jot, just start jotting down notes, but I'm because I'm feeling a little weird and paranoid right now. I think I'm gonna keep them in Yiddish right now, um, so that right. people can't like read over my shoulder or anything. It's okay. My note so far is just, what if Sun was bigger and redder? Very useful. I'm not a thorough man. Evie is gonna just keep inching her way closer to the doorway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the same. As you get a little closer, you can see there's a slight ramp up the ground. Probably doesn't rise more than five feet total. Just for fun, because so, I know my history. I'm going to roll a history check. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mine's at a 70. I might give that a shot, too. Uh, mine is a 75. All right, 50. I made it. <laughs> 20, or, I'm sorry, I rolled a 52. What are you looking for? Is that just some familiar elements? Something familiar, uh, whether it's like civilization, a time period, um, if any of the like way the door is built or way the archway has been cobbled together is familiar. The doorway looks decently familiar. It's um like a, a straight up and down with a nice rounded archway at the top and it's two doors of some kind of dark stone that are edged open just a little bit. The platform is a similar, the, the ramp up is a similar stone color, or dark stone color, I should say. Does it call to a, like, historical time period that I can point out? Maybe vaguely, vaguely gothic? Okay. But not in a way that's, like, immediately familiar at all to, like, other works you would have seen. Sure. So Evie is just jotting down notes about everything she is seeing. Um, 
I'm just laughing that there's just a bunch of people with notepads right now. Hazel's oh, yeah. not taking a single note, by the way. She's just forging ahead. Hazel couldn't give less of a crap about anything she's about to write in a notebook. She's just like, nope, I'm just gonna keep walking. She's making all these notes. You can hear her mumbling to herself. You can hear um, gothic, maybe not, but gothic, and just just as she's walking and writing notes, uh, the closer she gets to the door. Thorough as ever, Evie. I'm sorry? Uh, thorough as ever. I try. I mean, it is unfamiliar, so maybe no one's been here yet. Meanwhile, Hazel's already at the door. She's like, Excuse me, I'm are you going, going in there? I, 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 yes. That, that, was, that was the plan. I mean, if it is gothic, it's probably not booby trap. So, I mean, all right. Go on. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm a little curious myself. I think I might pop in there. No one has an explanation as to how we ended up here. There's one building. We might as well go in it. Yes, but walking through strange doorways doesn't always go well. Walking through strange doorways has gotten... What if we knock first, though? So. Maybe no. there's a landline. <laughs> She's not knocking. She's just going in. She's. I want to use sneak, though. I want to try to do this stealthily in case there is somebody in here. We just stealthily enter the doorway. I mean, look, it may give me more answers than writing notes in another journal when four of us are going to stand here and write notes. <laughs> and I'm writing notes while I'm walking. I'm doing two things. Oh, okay, that'll work. That's a 35. If you don't want to knock, I understand. We got to keep things a little quiet. A 35 success for you? Yep. Fantastic. Now, you can slip up to it silently you'll notice that there is light inside although not like candlelight or electric light it's more like just diffuse sunlight of the same kind of color quality as outside as you look around the door you can see one of well probably one of a series of mirrors up a good 30 40 feet that's kind of reflecting it in from some hidden window and throwing it around the room. And it's a, a large space. Um, as you slip inside, you can see it becomes more familiar. Although the shape isn't exactly right, there are it's it's unmistakably some kind of a library. There are shelving with a lot of books. There's no other word, word, way to put it. I mean, they're spined structures that look like they have their pages on the other side. There are a few lying on like raised surfaces here and there at a height somewhat taller than would be comfortable for a normal person. And the place is expansive inside. Oh, easy. I found your... Well, what I suspect may be your new favorite place in the world. Are you alright? What is it? I'm just gonna open the door. There are too many in here for me to read. Go for it. Oh, it's a library! And yes. she just runs through the door. <laughs> Official, I suppose you'll have to help her, because, again, I'm not reading all these, so... I'll be honest, I'm not really here to read. Fantastic. You can stand back here with me then. Evie's going to start looking at the spines of the books for... Actually, first question, do I recognize this library? No. Oh, so it's a new library. That's even more it's, it's, I mean, it's familiar in the way that all libraries are familiar. It's yes, hard to... But it's, but it's not like... But it's not somewhere you've been before. Okay. No. Um, does it seem used? Like, Like, is it dusty? Or does it yeah. seem like... It's like like it's been traversed in any way, or do you so, want me to roll something? Yeah, you can look around for that. Um, you can roll a uh, spot hidden. Spot hidden. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, spot hidden. Let's try this out. Oh, I have a good spot hidden. Oh no, 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 no! I rolled an eighty-seven, and I. Oh, actually, I'm. I do have some in spot Ooh. hidden, but I rolled an eighty-seven, so I no chance. <laughs> no problem. Like Um, and if mm. I could also help her, I got a 40, and I have a 70. Oh, that's really good. Spot hidden. 
So for a building just with a door really open on a lake shore, it, it does appear almost meticulously clean. Like you would expect somewhere like this unattended to be in pretty bad shape in pretty short order. It's not. Um, the books are well organized on their shelves. There are a couple of like open um, table like surfaces that are actually just like raised parts of the, the stone floor um, with some of the books laid out and open so you can see that it has been used at some point but with it being like with a utter lack of, of dust and things like that it's hard to tell when there is still in here no other sound outside of your your voices now echoing a bit off the walls and the shelves i'm going to make my way over to one of the tables that has books already opened to see what was being most recently researched in that library <laughs> Uh, what would you like me to roll? Well, let's see. You don't really have to. Okay. Because, unfortunately, this is not a language you've seen. Is it Latin? It is. Yeah, it's, it's not a... It's not a... Roman script. Um... It looks more like Arabic than anything else you're familiar with, but you okay. can tell at sight that it's not that. So the doorway is vaguely Gothic, and mm -hmm. the written word is vaguely Arabic. At least on these. Okay. Um, Arabic in the sense that it's like a flowing script, but there are yeah. also some like series of of dots and lines involved um, along the tops and bottoms of the script that have no place in Arabic. Um, could I... Would an occult will help me identify it? Okay. Potentially. Which is an occult. Uh, I have 40, which means I'm not going to do well at all. Oh, I might not teach you that. That's a what? 20 and a 0 is just 20, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a, no, that's a 30. Wait, Sorry. 20 and 0. It's 30. 30, and I have a... You have a 40? It's still okay. 30. So, you can't read it, but you have oh, seen bits and pieces of this in other... in other works that you've seen researched and discussed. Um, in papers and whatnot throughout various historical like occult manuscripts around the world um, it's come up in a few places here and there it's always been quite puzzling but it's never been it is, like specific topic it's not deciphered it's not been deciphered it's something like um you know what they i'm blanking on the thing but there's one of those satanic tablets in Georgia or whatever that aren't have that code that's not deciphered yet. It's something that's been seen like in hieroglyphic transcriptions. It's been seen, you know, around the Middle East and around Europe. It's a but dead it's language that you can't find on the Rosetta Stone. Yeah, this is probably well, no, it, 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 to your knowledge, it is the largest single body of it that anyone has seen. Uh, she's immediately grabbing that book and sticking it in her bag. <laughs> Love it. Um, and just out of random curiosity, she's going to go to the nearest bookshelf and just pick a random book and open it. Okay. This, see. this won't end badly at all. I'm not reading it. I'm just looking to see what language it's written. <laughs> are there are there, how many entrances and exits are there to this room? Is it just is it just the library inside the tower? Or there, yeah. like so far, you can just see the one door. It's going up a good hundred feet, though. But it's just like a, a it's vaulted ceiling. ceiling. It's not yeah. like there's stairs Shelves up there. Or anything. The whole floor. Wow. Mm. And it, it, are there staircases to go up, or do we have no idea how people got up there? Not that you've seen, but a lot of the room is blocked off by some of the shelving structures. You got can't it, see okay. the whole thing from any one point. Got it. Well, then, can I go explore? You can. So you're opening a book. This particular one has a, a blue spine with some gold letters 
that looks like it's so familiar looking and like the binding is just what you'd expect it even makes the same like creaking sound and it's the same script that you you're not familiar with but you have this tantalizing feeling that if you just sat and read it for a little while you could figure out what it's saying Repeat that one more time. I was changing music. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. When you go to pick up the book, it's um like a blue bound with a gold script of the same type on the on the um, spine. Um, you open it up, and it, it's more of the same undeciphered script. And as you look at it, you you can't understand it, but you get the feeling that if you just like this tantalizing feeling that if you just sat down and looked for a while. You would understand. She is going to plant her butt in. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, she's going to plant her butt in a chair somewhere around there and just keep looking at it. I think I'm official just to say, Evie, this. Do you really think this is the time? But if I look at it, I might know what it is. It's it's yet to be deciphered. What if I'm the one who deciphers it? We should be trying to you find whoever runs it this anywhere. place. Yeah. yeah, no official. Maybe it'll tell us how to get out of here. How about I sit here and try to decipher this while you all explore and find a way out, and then I will put the book in my bag and we can leave. Reggie, Reggie stay, stay with her. Make, make sure, sure I don't know, nothing no, bad happens. Yes. Don't want him anywhere near me. Well, well, too bad I'm taking fish and I'm going to explore. I guess I'll look and see if they have any of my books here. Yeah, yeah, great. Sure your just... books are going to be in the Doesn't seem library. that promising. The fact that they're in any library is a joke. All right, you two have wow, fun. Wow, they're for kids. <laughs> Hazel, you really have no memory of how we got here? Not a bit. Uh, the last I remember, I was in 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 my office at, at the Met, uh, going over paperwork from the last set of paintings that were acquired. This is... I don't know what to make of this, honestly. I don't either. I just... I think we need to find a person to talk to. There's... Well, clearly somebody I... lives here. Some... right? Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm hoping. I, I figured going through the stacks, maybe we would find another door, a, a, a bedroom, a, a something. Office. something. Yes, an yeah. office, something. Right. Uh, right, right, right. That's why I leave those two to bicker and the two of us can get to work. All right, let's look. All right. I'm what do I roll to bigger? Deep in the stacks <laughs> that I can. You two have fun. Argue to your heart's content. I'm finding a way out of here. <laughs> Probably fast talk for bickering, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have. I, I got a high number for that. Ridiculous <laughs> that. If you do, unfortunately, you have a stupid number. Ryan, what do I roll to find an office? There's got to be something here that's not a live, like that's not a bookshelf because that's not Hazel's thing or where she can excel in anyway. Oh my god, I have a library use. System. Guys, there's a library use score and I didn't even there realize totally it. There is. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Library <laughs> use score. It's not exactly I'm going to look for my book. Later. I rolled three over. I'm using luck points. Do I find my book? <laughs> you know what? You do. Shut up. Which book is it? Is it your book or is it your Wait, book? is it Return to the House of the Curse of the Mummy's Hand, part two, or is it part three? It's part three. Oh, shit. I didn't know this was out yet. <laughs> What? I just send off a bunch of the stories and like, then I just walk by a stand that has them on display. They don't really tell me much. It looks like it, it, it is yours, but it's like someone put it through translation and then back. So it's a little off. It's not an exact... Like, it's not exactly the way you wrote it. This whole page just says Mummy House. I don't think this is right. 
They even spelled my name wrong. I, I rolled a 54 and I have a 75. What are you looking at? Library use? Yes. What are you trying to do? Uh, I missed that, sorry. Um, I'm looking around to see if they have like the, the library cards, like the book cards, like the filing system. No, there's nothing like that. Okay, she Oddly goes enough. to her chair and go back to the book. Okay. Yes, card catalog, thank you. The thing. That's the thing you meant. So you two are rounding a shelf. Um, oh. Who I think was talking. And back? It was me, and I don't know what happened, but everybody went away, and everybody's back, so it's fine. Um, can I to try to find something in these sacks? Because there has to be something other than the bookshelves. There has to be. I use them, too. I just couldn't think of the word card catalog. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you looking for? Just anything else? Uh, particularly, for... hopefully, a door that leads to another room. <laughs> Okay. But if there's not another room, I'll take whatever. Uh... Well, the shelving is particularly tall. Um, it's probably 30 feet at any given shelf. So it's functionally a wall. I mean, you're not seeing your way around it into the rest of the space just yet. So as you're looking past, um, it takes a few tries of a few, like, go here, go left, go right. It's a bit maze-like. Um, but you get past one shelf into a very large open space, presumably a central space. And the first thing that catches your eye is that on a short pedestal, there is a very tall statue of some kind of figure in a, a robe, a, a robed figure that looks like it's um like an aged yellow paint on the st on the stone it's again a stone coloring or a, a stone material that this is made out of um but it's a, a robe figure standing there kind of with the robe sweeping as if it's moving but just standing perfectly still and there's this aged yellow color how big is it 15 feet, okay. Oh, it's big. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you sharing that you found it? Uh, how far away am I from them at this point? The two of them. You're probably not more than 50 feet away. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, as you've walked. Not, yeah, then, like... I, then I'll, I'll yell out the. Uh, we found a statue. I, I don't recognize it off the bat, but. Maybe if we've had something similar come through the museum at some point. Oh, okay. Give me a moment. Yeah, I'll walk over and check it out. Notably, do a little history you roll can't on see it? any part of it that's not... From the angle you're at, you've kind of approached it from, like, the back and the side. You can't see any part of it that's not covered by this robe. So it's, it's standing, and there's a hood over the front of it, and a large, like, sweeping robe. Yeah, I'm gonna is there a nameplate right on the statue? Yeah, yeah, I'm official. You're gonna know what? We're going to the front. We're going to. We. I want. <laughs> I'm. I'm immediately like, what? The, what's under this robe? What is this? I'm, what are we? Who? Who? I, in my mind, I'm like, who is buddy. this guy? Yep. As you circle around to the front of it, you feel just a growing apprehension that looking at it. Well, if something is urging you not to look very closely, um, as you move around the front, the statue itself raises the cowl just ever so slightly looks like it, it moves itself again soundlessly it looks kind of 
up just a hair and that that, that apprehension spikes you just in your head it's just don't look at it don't don't look at it don't look at it i think i give a full like whoa you know like like, like kind of a fall back not expecting that at all yeah. official are you all right did, did anyone else see that yes i am af i'm afraid i did no i just got here what happened don't look at it. Don't. Right, no, don't look at it, Evie. No, I need to see what's under there. No, you don't look at it either. What happened? I'm gonna... Like, now you got me curious. Like, I gotta check this out. No, I. she's just... gonna go out and hold her hands out. No. At, at least don't look at it very closely. Don't go all the way to the front. I think there's I a mechanical part to this statue. Did it move? Yeah. None of us, uh, none of us realize how we got here. No, none of us remember it's how we got here. You all automatically think that this may be a normal statue. It's a library. A library in which you cannot read most of the writing. Well, yes, but it's in undeciphered language that I've seen other places. That means somehow, which I cannot explain, we've ended up here, and this means be a place where that undeciphered language began. If you can't Hazel. explain that, then you cannot just explain away a statue. Hazel, I agree with you. We need to get out of here. I, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. We have no information about where we are. We don't know where this, what this place is. We don't know if there's anyone else even here right now. We have nobody coming to find us, as far as I can tell. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to figure out, first and foremost, we could gather clues to understand what this place is so that we can figure out how the hell to get back to the city. Yeah, he's got a point. But just, if you see that thing move again, be careful. Okay. Listen, it feels like someone's fucking with us a little bit right now, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so we, all, we all know each other, but we don't work <coughs> together, you know, closely. So mm -hmm. it seems very likely that you would plot four people in the middle of nowhere who sort of know each other only if you were trying to mess with them. Like, that's not... Do you think this could be a dream? And she turns and just slaps Reginald across the face. I'll let it happen. <laughs> it's just more more for your art. <laughs> more because I wasn't paying attention to her. Would that be martial arts? Or... Oh, it's like a slap. There's just a fist score. Let's paint, yeah, it'd be more like a fist. Wait, you know martial arts? Yes, yes she does. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I'm the one that you don't want to punch you. Uh, okay, that was oh, fuck. Okay. That was a 20. No, I'm sorry. That's a 35, and I have a 50 in this. Love it. Now, you can try to dodge it. Alright, I guess I'll do a dodge roll. <laughs> I rolled one over my dodge. Should I use that luck point? If you want. I mean, you have all you. Yeah, I was about to say you should. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna use that one luck point. Don't get hit. You have the least amount of hit points. It's only one. I can get away with it. I don't want you to die because you took a slap. In the roll the face. fucking twenty nine on a twenty eight. <laughs> Be so sad if you were passing away. We're like, if only so you had dodged that slap. <laughs> she reaches out to slap you. You knock me into the statue and it causes a whole bunch of things to happen. <laughs> By the hairs of your nose, she missed. You just, and she just like, you might that much. What was that about? I was trying to see if we were in a dream. Evie, we are not dreaming. No, this would be the most. Lucid dream. Do you not lucid dream? You could have pinched yourself. Beyond lucid. No. We are wide awake right now. It was worth a try. A twenty. Exclamation! 
what we need to do is oh, great. I would love to hear all your thoughts. Yes, I agree with Fischl. Just a person. Somebody who can answer some questions. I'm not looking at the statue. I refuse. I'm going to decide if I'm going to look at the statue right now with control. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, Fischl's, Fischl's going to be wise this time. He's not going to look. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is tempting. I feel like Fischl's like wants to get more info, but realizes that he just gave a lecture about how we need to like find clues right now and find a person and staring <laughs> at a statue does not. Stare at a statue <laughs> anyway, you guys just wait. I'm going to just focus really hard on this moving statue for a little yeah. bit. I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> Y'all go do what you want, but like I'm going to stand here and stare that statue in the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stare at it real hard. Yeah. Yep. Tell me your secrets. Stare in context. Go. Um, so beyond the statue, is there like just more shelves or is there something else? Well, more shelving recessing away into the rest of the tower. Um, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of a central area, more or less circular where you can see other irregular gaps in the shelving that move out toward the other walls. Do I feel like we will have no problem at this point getting back to the entrance? Probably. You haven't tried yet, but presumably, I mean, it's... It's not a regular like hallway straight through, but it's you know it's only it's not made, like a... one or two turns, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, shall we? We shall. I think Fischl's just gonna do a very loud hello, just to see if anybody responds or anything. There it is. No sound in return. But Reggie, go ahead and give me an idea roll. An idea roll? Yeah, it's up at the top right. Not part of your skills. It's just one of your oh uh, yeah derived from your stats. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. What's your idea? I mean, the number, not your actual idea. Uh, the number I'm rolling for is fourteen, I guess. Rolled seventy seven. It should be it should be higher than should that. Should be I higher think. than that. Well, Mine's a six and five. I might have written yeah, some things score. down wrong. I think you got your idea wrong, yeah. Unless you've got a really What's weird your intelligence somewhere. score, Drew? I'll do the math. Oh wait, intelligence says fourteen. Okay, so okay, times so five is gonna be seventy. It's seventy. Okay, I didn't know it was like the. Not a little differently. Okay, gotcha. I did the math for mine wrong too, so I'm glad we established that because I did have a high number, but not a high enough number. Nice. It's intelligence times five. I just wrote it down wrong. All right, so I was seven off. Luck points. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. No, nah, I can have a bad idea. I feel like they're pretty popular with your character. Bad <laughs> Seems like your bad so, ideas are pretty popular with other people, though. Yeah. It's good material. Well, while everyone's looking around after, like, hoping to hear something back from people falling out, you see that um, this statue has one of the arms that pulls the bullet. The one close to you has a, kind of a wizard sleeve going on, and there's a dark wreath on It just looks like it would put your hand so well. I'm going to be real. The audio was really muddy. I couldn't understand much of that. Yeah, you, you did get a little muffled at the end there. Yeah. Okay. So there's, this statue has like a wizard sleeve on one arm, and there's a, a dark end at this. You, you feel like it would just, it would just fit your hand so well just to reach in and maybe you can get an idea of what the figure of this thing is under the robe, you know? Like if I just touch it, right? Yeah, if you just reach out. If I touch it. Oh, part of me wants to punch him so he stops doing it, but I'm going to murder him if I do. Are you reaching out toward the statue? 
the hands reaching up. She's gonna slap your hand. <laughs> Don't it's better if she does it. It's like, but like, what, what if, if I do touch, touch it? it? Like, like, maybe I might understand it. No. Just like, knock the hand away. just going to loudly go, So I guess whoever's here doesn't mind if we just start taking books? Or destroying them? It's okay, I already autographed all the ones I wrote. What? This might make him some money. Yeah. There's again no answer from anything. Uh, I don't like this one. Although bit. you do feel your mood start to just like sour a bit at the at the idea of destroying like when you say that part specifically. It's almost like you feel like reflexively guilty about it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't destroy books. They're books. That's a repository of knowledge. Okay, she's going to keep kind of walking around. And I just rolled a 13 on my 75 spot hidden. Oh, man. What you looking for? Really just anything. Either, like, if there's another alcove, if there's She's kind of not necessarily feeling around, but she's snooping. Yeah. She's specifically looking for something that either like doesn't quite look normal or doesn't look like it doesn't belong where it is. We do see very carefully outlined um a gap, or I should say, very, very thinly outlined. It's like it's hard to see a gap in the stone at the floor near this statue. Looks maybe like a pressure plate. Okay. Right about where Fischl was standing, actually. I think where Fischl was standing, where it moved. So That's she's probably what activated going it. Going to yeah. just kind of go. Fish will look at the statue, but like, don't look at it, but like, look in the general direction. Okay. She's All right. Kind of put her toe and step on the pressure plate. Well, oh, for a moment, there's nothing. And then. Officially, you can see this first since you're kind of looking at it. It does start to move up ever so slightly. And you feel that same just like gut instinct apprehension rising. See, I told you. Stay continues here. moving just a bit. Continues. Are you keeping pressure on it? I mean... Keep going. And I think Fish will say keep going. See, statues don't move. It's a pressure plate. It's a mechanism. Yeah. That was more to everybody else. I understand you understand it. I was more agreeing with you to everybody else. Okay. Fine. I was like, it's yeah, not guys. Yeah, come on. It's, not, it's fine. Maybe it has something to it. I, See, I still don't plan. like it. As you're putting pressure on, it keeps rising just a hair further, and this cowl is becoming more and more like visible as it lifts. What's under it? I'm hoping for an answer like is stairs, but I feel like it's a worse answer than that. What's in the box? <laughs> as you, um, so is it 
keeps raising slowly. Evelyn keeps her foot on it. It raises again, and there's a moment where it back, and the sleeves erupt with something dark and fast moving, and you're all thrown against the wall, and from there, wake up breathing hard. Wake, wake up, are we, wake, are we still where we were? Wake up where you were, where you last remember being. I think this is a Hazel in her office. <sighs> Reggie is before his typewriter and immediately just starts going at it and just chugging whatever oh, alcohol is around him. Of course it's going to be your next story. <laughs> this, is, this is where we're going to take a quick five to ten minute break, go hydrate, bio break, grab a snack, and then we'll be right back.
We are back. Hello. Hi. Everyone got a snack. I did my snack as loud. Hold on. Oh, did we lose Drew? Uh, I'm back. Huh? Oh, I have to. Oh, you have it was just very still. You have a new link. Hold on. Oh. Oh. You fan popped out for a second. I fixed it. Yep. Video went out during the break. It's all right. Just a few technical difficulties. Don't mind me and my grapes. <laughs> Not doing the full like from the vine thing though. I mean, I could. <laughs> I still have like quite a bit in this bag. That's about all that survived. I was a very big fan of the hippos from Animaniacs, and I feel like no one remembers them. No, I do. Yes, I oh love them. God. Deep memory mm -hmm. unlocked. And they would be like grape me, banana me, and I was just like, I in my head still say that to myself when I'm feeding myself sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's if my parents are too loud, I will mute my microphone. I apologize. They're actually pretty quiet. Okay, good. I'm trying to. I was gonna say no, you're fine. You. Just eat your carrots. <laughs> Don't mind us. We snack on stream. Uh, we run this as much like a normal tabletop game as you could. And I imagine if I would have ever got the chance to play in person because COVID ruined our lives, uh, I would have snacked at the table constantly. <laughs> but... Oh, yeah. No, I do. Pizza or Chinese food would be pretty essential to me for any in-person TTRPG, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> you were Not so close. Heard. You were so close we to getting your self carrots. <laughs> we, we promised, promised ASMR. ASMR. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My, my, wife, my wife cannot stand chewing sounds. I can't either. <laughs> people who do ASMR, like, their like, mouth sound ASMRs. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, God, no, that is my nightmare. <laughs> I think it's like I will listen to that right next to the microphone. I'm done. Oh, that's fair. Hours without sleep. I get that. Fun fact, it's not the DM doesn't get to eat, it's the person who runs the stream doesn't get to eat. For digital. That's fair. We just we ran a little late today and didn't get to make dinner before stream. We're gonna eat after stream. Don't worry about it. A little loose. A nice, a nice midnight uh, piece of chicken will be great. We went to run errands and I didn't stop and think. Oh shit! I haven't built the scenes yet. Uh, and these were a little more complicated than usual because mm. if you notice, our lovely name tags right down here they they rotate. rotate. They rotate out from our character names to our actual names. Oh. Which is not something we've done before, but I went ahead and made everything to make that work. She just had to put it I, all in to make yeah, it. I, so each one of these See that? That's cool. fun facts, fun streaming fact, if you have ever thought about streaming or you don't know about streaming, each of these is a single slideshow. Yep. So everybody has a little slideshow fit in under themselves. And then everything else is one whole piece. But the little yep. the little name tags are each a little image slideshow. This is why it's good to be the guest. Yep. Yeah, you the don't more you know. Anything. You just show up. Yeah. You show up. up. It's so great. Right. You show up and you play a game and then you go to bed. Take a ton of yep. credit. Walk away. Yeah. I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You had to think up a character idea, which I'm sure was so hard to do. Literally do it every day for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Oh my so god! Hard. I put in I hours upon hours of work to make official. I read, I read two Wikipedia pages so hard. <laughs> okay, I, I read a couple Wikipedia pages too. Yeah, whatever it took. So returning from that, I'm gonna call it a D4 of sanity loss for everyone for witnessing no. this event. A D4. That's unfortunate. What? And also, I have to get a D4 out of my bag. Oh, thank you for not rolling. Oh, my camera went out again. This is ridiculous. Oh, you're frozen. In a beautiful you're frozen. smiley face. Yeah. That's a very, very photogenic freeze. 
I mean, a very intrusive is a very photogenic individual. Ah, hmm. uh, that's one. one. One for me as well. I, I got a two. All right. Hold on, I gotta add Drew back in. Once he comes back in, he's gone again. I'm down to 84 sanity. Damn. I think I've been puts me down the. I was gonna say you're still higher than. Me. Well, I'm down to 69. Drew, come back. Nice. Otherwise, I have to eat more carrots. <laughs> Is that what we're going to do during uh, technical malfunctions now? So much just going to take over the ASMR section of the stream? Yes. Do it. I mean, there's an audience out there. Do you think there's like an ASMR for just sighing passive aggressively? If God, not, I would be so that's good a Let's start it. <laughs> <laughs> if not, that's a whole untapped market. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, great. I was like, I. This is password is incorrect now. Lowercase. Yeah, Wonder if it's expired. Hold on. Oh shit. Okay. This is because we ate those carrots. It's peanut butter all over my hands now. <laughs> Everybody get a peanut butter. Says, Never mind. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, my fat finger typed in the wrong word three times, thinking it was the right one. Because <laughs> I keep doing that too. No, this is I when you say gild, it, gild in instead of gilded. Oh, lovely. This is when you say the website was having some kind of like caching error, error or something. No. That wasn't you. It definitely not. Yeah. It's no. never. It's not never user fault. error. Right. Don't, don't admit it. The machine is wrong. No. It's always computer fault. Oh. Michael, I think you're onto something, though. I'm going to look into seeing if there's a podcast of sighing passive aggressively. I'm just saying. <laughs> we'll start a we'll start a new market. It's ASMR, but it's just very angry comments about your day. The text with it is, oh, you can't see it right now, but please imagine that this person has a very upset look on their face. But they're also trying to mask it so the other person doesn't realize how upset they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great it's like a great thing to tune into if you need to relax and have low self-esteem at exactly. the same time yeah. mm -hmm. You're just the next big thing coming to you all of your retail job and you're just here <sighs> <laughs> you, that's good that's really thank good you, you. <laughs> I mean at one point we talked about a weekend show and I don't I can't think of anything better than complaining about our week ASMR stuff <laughs> Can't think of a better thing. It's just an ASMR stream. It's sighing passive aggressively. Come at you every Saturday night. Death glares and sighing true passive again. aggressively. Live and complaining. We'll have quite a new audience for that one. <laughs> Get those donations coming in. All right. All right. What were we doing? <laughs> we were getting Earl three for sanity loss. Uh, yes. Right. I rolled. Oh, uh, we we were going insane, is what we were doing. Oh, right, yes. Right. In real life and in game. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you wait wherever you were, previously, feeling very disoriented because at no part of that did you think actually that you were dreaming. Everything felt vivid, tactile, and real. You did. It's not a dream. You slapped that I man so you... hard across the face. And when I see you in person, I'll be like, you were right. And they'll be like, what do you mean you were right? <laughs> what are you talking about? When everyone looking in her bag does not have the book no. that she picked up. Oh, oh, oh. Did I take the photo? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. I'm you? telling you this right now. Uh, Way before digital photography. So... But like, like I would know if I'd like wound it or something, wouldn't I? I don't fucking know. I, I, I don't. Well, I don't know how old cameras work, guys. I don't know cameras that far back. Long enough, and I used my craft of um, 
Oh no, we lost you again. Met again! Yeah. Can I use my craft of transcription to try and jot down some of the script I remember? No, don't do that. <laughs> you can try it. Um, this feels dangerous. <laughs> if you've ever tried to do that, though, in real life, it's going to be difficult. Like, well, extraordinarily difficult. I know. I mean, I have a 50 in it. Go for it. Give it a shot. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh. Hold on, let me add Drew and don't tell me anything yet. Just, just here. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, into the thing. Into the gotcha. Yeah, into the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. Here, I'll get you back. There you are. There's your beautiful face. <laughs> and you're not frozen this time. Up. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, what happened? Can I write some of it down? You can. With a four, it is just enough to get you a, a small string of characters. Um, and it's something you think you've seen before. Outside of of that communal dream or whatever the hell happened to you, it's also a piece you saw not from the books but on the pedestal of the statue as well. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to immediately dive into books to see if I can. Okay. And that's a to the, uh, for library use, and I have a seven. So you're going to the library? I am in the library. Hmm. I would have. I would have probably you come did to you specifically in the library. say that. That's right. You did say that you were. You knew you were in the library. Okay. <laughs> what library, by the way? Any specific uh, one that you like to use? The, the New York Public Library with the two lions outside. Love it. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, the library use takes a while. That's going to be at least a couple of hours of looking. That's fine. Um, I don't want to other people's things. I just wanted to start that. What did you get again? It was low, right? Five. Real low. Good stuff. Five, 75. I'm, I switched to using Casey's dice that she gave me. So, uh, mm -hmm. That's why you're rolling so well. Thanks, sister. Appreciate it. Okay. okay. So everyone's in the library, immediately looking at these at uh, references, poring over occult books for a few hours. Where, where are the rest of you? What's going on with you guys? Uh, I would have come to in my or at my desk at the Met. Um, Hazel, for the most part, is probably trying to shake this off as some sort of dream that she's had. Um, but as she keeps going through all of her paperwork, most of which where she's filling out, you know, things where the museum has paid a lot of money to acquire a piece of art, which she knows is a forgery, but has told them is real. Um, she, after a while, will go through some some of the resources that the museum has to see if she can find anything on the architecture of that building that they were in. And you just tell me what you would like me to roll for that. I don't know if that's also library use. You mean you don't want to call your good friend Evelyn at the library? I'm good. She, well, she would she would not think of this as a shared experience whatsoever. She would think, if I do try to get a hold of one of these people, they will all think that I've had the strangest dream in the world, that the four of us just ended up in a library when Hazel's not even a big fan of libraries. No, but it could jog your memory and be like, hey, I haven't talked to Evelyn in a while. Maybe she might know. Uh, you know. She'll try this first, and then if all else fails, she will call somebody. 
In this context, I think I would call that an art role. Okay. What time of day is it, by the way? They think relatively early in the day, like maybe late morning, so like 11-ish. If you're in the library, if you dozed off in the library, you would have to, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, let's just let her sleep overnight in the public library. So, am I using general art or am I using my specialty of art? Because it is my specialty, but you just have to name one. You know what I mean? What did you name? I actually named screen printing uh, because there were a lot well, of things they were screen printing. So I just chose something as general as I could. That would be more general art then. Okay. It wouldn't really fall under screen printing. Okay. Well, then I'm going to use two luck points because I rolled a yeah. seven and my general art is only five. Because uh, okay. I took special, I had to take specialties because I'm an artist. So it's it's kind of as elusive in waking daylight as it was their experiencing it. There are elements of it that seem like uh, like bits of, the, of it were like somewhat classical in appearance, you know, like classical, like Mediterranean, Greek, Roman. A lot of it seemed to draw from would be related to like. Um, I actually don't know the name of the society, but like in um, Southeast, I had a birth there, Southeast Asia, like, uh, is it Laos or Cambodia? That's, yeah, like Cambodian ancient ruins, like very intricately stone carved. Um, one thing that stands out, though, from any of those was that there was no figure like no um personal representations no like sculpture of, of humans or anything even it was all more abstract than most of that kind of very prominent uh, historical architecture is It's still, it's nothing that registers as any one tradition. Yeah. There are things that are familiar from several, and there are things that are just utterly foreign. Yeah. Okay. Well, then she's going to close whatever book she's using, put it back on the shelf um, in sort of their art and resource room, which... Um, is where she would probably be working a lot anyway, so it's probably not very strange to see her in there. Um, and she's going to go drop off all this paperwork um, so she can get her payout. And then maybe she'll try to, she'll decide maybe after work to swing by the library. Gotcha. And you too? Can you show the record? Well, I think I was in the middle of having broken into an office at a factory um, where I was tr working on a story about some worker deaths that I think the factory is covering up basically as being as they're responsible for. Um, and I am literally in like the boss's office. He's not there right now. And I was like looking, trying to like look for files and things like that when all this happened. And so I am like blinked back into the middle of this situation that is actually also arguably more dangerous than the situation I was in a minute ago. Um, uh, yeah. And uh, and yeah, that, that's where I am. And uh, immediately like just, I think I try to like shake it off almost like I just had like some kind of like episode or something and start looking for the files I was looking for again. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Oh, that. that could feasibly be library use. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. I've you know got what, a yeah, library it's use. file organization. I think that makes sense to me. Yeah. Word. Ah, well, I have a 65, but I rolled a 74. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. I, you know, I, it kind of makes sense to me that he'd fuck this up right now. So 
Fair, fair. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, tracks. That tracks. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, they gotta be here somewhere. I'm, like digging through drawers, like just trying not to make too much of a mess because I don't want them to know I was here, but like really rifling through stuff. Just just a little like nerd. Usually I'm pretty calm in situations like this, but I, but because of this, I'm like sweating a bit, nervous and a little frazzled and not doing a great job. What kind of a factory what kind of a factory is it? Like what are they is it? Like what are they? Great just question. Curious, if curious. only I had a good sense of what factories <laughs> made in the twenties. Um <clears throat> What kind of let, textile is let, this? Let's say it's textiles for sure. Yeah. Um, let's say they make um, it's pants. They make pants. This is a pants factory. <laughs> when was it the it does. shirtwaist? Nailed it. Oh, the triangle shirt fa- yeah. The triangle shirtwaist factory was. Um, it was in the twenties, wasn't it? It was in the twenties. <laughs> triangle shirtwaist factory. I don't know. I think we was. should go with pants factory. Oh no, it's nineteen eleven. So it would have Ooh, happened. Even more. At, yeah. 1911. I'm a really big fan of Pants Factory. I have to say, the Pants Factory. You're welcome. Yeah, it's the Pants Factory. We've all been, we've all been to the Pants Factory. You know, as one does. As one does. My grandfather was in real life was literally a tailor in Brooklyn, and I can feel him like angrily staring at me <laughs> through through time right now. <laughs> pants factory. You know, as one does, they just go to the pants factory. You know, you get your pants from the store yep. and they mm-hmm. get them from the pants, from the pants, from the pants factory. factory. Don't right, mind suits. me, Let's darling. say they make I'm suits, okay? They don't just make pants. The pants. Just pants. Just just Listen to me. Matches. The no. future is pants, all right? <laughs> Shirts are out. Yep. No one cares about that. Just pants. All right. Fuck. Don't mind right. me, darling. A hard day of work at the pants factory. <laughs> the opposite we'll be of home Winnie the Pooh. Pooh. It was first, it was just shirts. <laughs> now it's just pants. Just pants. It's really the Mickey Mouse so, of it all. If you think about it. <laughs> you, don't, uh, you don't find what you're looking for there, but you do come across something that catches your eye because it's so weird. It looks like, like like an item manifest of theirs, but it's got uh, names on it. Not like, you know, so much raw product or so much raw material, but like the names of people. Um, dates and what appear to be like ages, and you've got a, a male-female marker as well. Um, I'm going to immediately, uh, hold on, what would I do to try and get us, try and decipher this document real quick? I guess that could be, I wish I was more familiar with these skills. Um, okay. uh, Let me see. Law? Me? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, if it's a legal document, that would make sense, but it's not really a legal document. It's like a, there's not like a finance skill. There's accounting. Oh, there's accounting. It would be accounting probably, right? Because this is like an accounting document. Does yeah, that make sense? That could work. If you like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's more like that than anything else that I see on the list. Yeah, for sure. Well, I don't have any skill in accounting and I rolled a 58. So once again, mm-hmm. officials fucking up. You were too he's not, he's not doing the great. pants. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, it's definitely some kind of manifest of. I can hear again. Thank God. Oh. Um, I'm gonna quickly try and do a uh, like 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 jot down everything I'm seeing from it because I can't actually take. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm taking the document. I take it. Pocket this motherfucker. You have a camera too, don't you? I do. Oh yeah, I could just photograph it. Yeah, good call. I photograph you want it. To. Yeah. It's not a yeah, yeah. You could also just take it. I mean. Up no, you him. know what? I'm am t- gonna actually take it. I don't I don't mind if this guy sweats a little bit, knowing that he can't find whatever the fuck this thing is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna feel like I've been here for too long, and I'm gonna use my sneak to try and get out of this place safely. Okay. okay. If that See works. How that goes. 
well, I've got a 50 in it, so let's, uh, I got a, I got a half shot at this. Motherfucker. Official, official, official. I rolled a 75. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> this, is rough. this is bad. So I like, kind of like, you know, like open up the door, look both ways, kind of like close it behind me real quick. Trying to act nonchalant like I wasn't in there. Act like I belong in this place if anybody's nearby. So I imagine you're in there, given the time of day, on like sneaking in on his, uh, his, you know, very generous lunch hour. You know how exactly, bosses do. Yeah. Uh, the place is pretty loud, so you've got that going for you. Good. You know, any kind of clothing factory in the 20s is going to be making a shitload of noise inside. Especially pants factory. Um, God, those pants factory is so loud. So fucking loud. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of staple up the sides of the pants and, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know how the pants work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on your way out, there's a, you're up a short stairwell into this office. <coughs> and on your way out, someone clearly just sees you walking down from there and just kind of looks at you like, hey. I'm immediately, I'm going to fast talk this motherfucker immediately. Do it. As it soon as I'm it. spotted. Yeah. All right. Um, first, I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to determine what I say after I see how good a roll I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So I've got a 70 in fast talk. God damn it. <laughs> I am rolling like shit. I rolled an 87. Uh, so I think Fish was just like, hey, yeah. Uh, listen, hey, you see, I'm here for the, the thing, you know. Uh, it, it's um, it's supposed to be happening. Where What is, you know, you know what I'm talking about. This is not his best by any stretch. He's usually good at this shit. He is fucking phased right now. The, the meeting? Worth noting that like Fischl's not an inconspicuous looking guy, too. He's 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 like a pretty big dude. He he's like very recognizable because he's he had a stroke a while back and so half of his face is slouched down. Like he sticks out like a sore thumb, basically. Um so when he says the workers meeting, he goes. Yeah, the, the 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 workers meeting. That's exactly what I'm here for. I'm I'm supposed to be uh I'm I'm, do- I'm documenting it for the paper. Um, I'm a, I'm a reporter with um the the Morgan Freiheit, which he shouldn't have said out loud because that's a communist newspaper. Um, but since I wrote is this guy a communist? Let's find out. Really hope so. Make a communist check real quick. <laughs> make an economy make a check. Kind of check. <laughs> We actually all have to make it because it becomes like the people's role and like we share that. Yeah, we, yeah. Exactly. We distribute the score. Yeah. I'm so excited. I rolled incredibly low. I love it, which is very good here. Oh, thank God. I rolled a two. What? Incredible. <laughs> so at the mention <sighs> at the mention of the of the Morgan Freiheit, he his mm-hmm. eyes go. Like he, there's a pop of recognition, and he's like, "Oh yeah, come on, come on down. I'll, I'll introduce you." Great, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Not a communist pants factory, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why they call them red pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was fucked up. Um... Oh, please don't ever apologize for things like that. I love it so much. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm following him. I don't know if you want to stick with this or you want to jump over to Drew. Or... So he'll take you out into um, a meeting of, like a, out near the factory floor. Like there's an open space away from some of the machinery, and there's a good couple dozen, uh, working men standing around, um, starting to talk, just having a little bit of very, very poor quality coffee. Um, the room is hot. Very I'm not a snob. Sweaty. I'll have some. <laughs> I'm one of the guys. He brings you out and says, and "This is a uh, this is Fischl Stern from from the Freiheit." Yeah, and you might know me from my um from 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 my 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 uh, uh, column. I I do the official report. There are a few that are. Oh yes, great. Hey, it's good to see it. But most of them are like you know weary looking, just like another day on the job, but barely recognized. But there it's are a few who seem to know at least of you, if not, were of the paper. So we're 
like open to you know to you being there would uh, any of you be open to uh, being interviewed about the um <clears throat> you know uh, the recent deaths of course of course great yeah this is exactly what i wanted all right <clears throat> and uh i'm gonna start conducting interviews with those who are willing to interview i don't know if you want to like play them out or what but Awesome. Yeah, you get a couple of them to talk to you about, you know, bad conditions, and they'll go on at length if you let them. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one name from that manifest mm -hmm. and, dro and drop it with one of them, and just see if they recognize the name at all. Be like, does the name, um, uh, uh, you know, the uh, fucking no, god damn, can I think of a name? Um, <laughs> uh, Margaret Klanger mean anything to you? Roll luck. Roll luck, you said? Yep. All right. Ba -ba -da -boo. Boo. My current luck is very high. It is 85. And then let's see. A 59. Nice. nice. There we go. There we go. Now we're, get the pants. Now we're cooking. Just love to get lucky in the pants. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> see, you've never apologized for your clothes. You're so yeah, was, uh, yeah, she was. Uh, she works here a few days, no more than a week, uh, a couple months back. Um, haven't seen seen or heard of her since then, though. Thank you. Well, I really know she just showed up and then stopped. Anybody else like that working in the factory lately? Quickly coming no, and going. I think yeah, every so often. Right. I mean, it's, you know, some people don't stick around for whatever reason, but there are a few that maybe stand out. Some of them don't know the language as much. It's about to ask, how was her English? Not good. You get any sense where she was from? Germany, maybe. Somewhere, somewhere east of there. I don't know. Geography is not my thing. I got you. No problem. I appreciate your help. Anytime. I'm looking forward Good to luck with the meeting. meeting. Yeah, thanks. Of course. Gotta stay, gotta keep even... together out there. Stick it to him. Maybe <laughs> if only that were a thing back then. Yeah. Who knows? Um, I mean, people make fists. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> um, cool. All right. They'll even so. walk you out. I mean, they're quite a man of so having you there. So. Great. Does it seem like as I leave, does it seem like the boss has come in yet? So far, no. Good. You didn't see anyone slip in while you were there, at least. I think on my way out, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, hey, listen, uh, try not to like make a big thing about my having come today, okay? If it comes up, you can be honest. You can say I was here. But let's just um, try not to draw attention to it if we don't have to. Yeah. Sure thing. Sure thing. Um, Great. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Have a good one. What a fucking day I'm having. <laughs> All right. What's Reggie up to? Did I leave you? No. Yeah, Reggie was uh was sitting at his desk. You can hear me now? Mm -hmm. All good. I lost you for just a sec, but you're fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Reggie was sitting at his desk before all this happened. Comes to and is just like having like kind of a flood of memories from the stories that his adventuring father used to tell about these certain myths that he heard while he was out. And the whole like dark magic coming out of the wizard sleeve kind of has Reggie really thinking about that stuff. It's like, was that shit real? Not the shit I dreamed, but like that shit that could be that shit. Oh shit. He pours himself a drink <laughs> and then starts going through. Um, I believe he, he would like to collect some of his father's old journals. So he had some of them laying around and he'd like to look through them. Okay. 
So hell, we can definitely call that a library use. Everybody gets to roll it today. That's Call of Cthulhu, right? Look at all my shit's books. Staple skill. Call of Cthulhu, an epic game about using the library. Yeah, 55, <laughs> 55 against a 60. 60. I, barely I barely made it. it. Okay. So, yeah, it takes a little while of digging. Um, but you do find mention of a robed figure in yellow in some of these stories, just mentions here and there. Um, and there's a symbol that you can see with it, too, that's actually right there at the bottom of our layout, right under the old H&H. Whoa. Oh. When you first see it, like written out in the journal, you get almost a flashback, like a, a very, very strong impression of that same like lashing shape that came out of the sleeves and you're thrown aback mm -hmm. for just a bit. Just just a moment. It looks like the thing is like rapidly moving across the page. And you blink and and it's it's sitting there still. You stare at it for a second, but you don't see it move again. But what, but what I, I see on the page, page I don't see its face, right? right? Typical. Right. Um, is there any sort of like locations associated with these entries? Not locations as much as. Let's see. Do you have? You probably don't. Do you have anything in astronomy by chance? I don't even have that option. It's a 1% by default. Oh, okay then. Okay. I'll roll it. You know what? That wasn't a 1. 1%, you can do it. <laughs> it wasn't a 1. Always worth a shot. It was a nice cold 30. There are things that you can vaguely recognize as star charts, but uh, beyond uh, that, you're not sure what, like what, what significance they have, what part of the sky, what part of the year they're in. You're not sure. Hmm. There's... The word that comes up with this um, a few times with the mention of this yellow figure is um, unspeakable. Once or twice even capitalized. And what was I it again? Type. Unspeakable. Oh, unspeakable. Gotcha. Reggie goes, Reggie goes over, sits at the, the, the typewriter, and, and then the, just, just across, across the top of a fresh page, page the, unspeakable the unspeakable is spoken. spoken. And then he starts yeah. trying to like rehash his rehash pit, the dream, dream, putting it on paper. I was like, I can totally fucking sell this later. <laughs> It's okay. I change. I'll change your names. <laughs> Beverly Johnson instead. I don't know. Well, see, that occupies most of at least the early portion of your days. Anybody want to do anything in particular the rest of the day? I know that I'm going to want to after I've like compiled my notes, made sure I've got like all the details copied out of this document just in case I lose it for any reason. Um, and uh, that I'm probably gonna give Evelyn a call actually. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna give Evelyn a call. Right. Yeah. Near Papel Library. 
Uh, hey, it's uh, it's official, Evelyn. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm all right. Hey, you. I could really use a drink. You want to get one? It's been a long day. Sure. Can you give me just a little more time? I'm I'm going over this dialect that I've only seen a few places, but I I just can't get this image out of my head. I had the strangest dream last night. What? What do you? What? Do you, what? What kind of? Are you saying you saw the dialect in your dream? Oh, yes. Um, I guess it wasn't last night. It was during the day. I must have dozed off while I was working, but I had this dream. You were there. We were in this library in the middle of nowhere, and there was a large lake, but there were these books, and they were all written in this dialect that no one has ever been able to decipher yet. I can only remember a little bit of it, but I've been looking everywhere to find Hey, Evelyn. Eve Evelyn. I, th I think we should get that drink now. Oh, well. All right, give me just a moment. Let me make sure this yeah. is locked up. Yeah, I think we need to do that. And um, I think we should probably call uh, uh, Reggie and Hazel, too. How did you... You know, if you call Reggie, I don't speak with him, but I'll give Hazel a call. I'll call Reggie. Him. So, hey, uh, Reg, er, uh, Evelyn, me. Uh, we'll give a call over to the uh, museum just to see if she would come out for a drink with myself and Fischl. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, hello, uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is uh, Hazel Stella with the uh, authentication department. Hazel, it's Evelyn. Um, did you have a dream midday? Um, it's quite odd of you to know, but but yes, um, I I I must have dozed off while I was going through, uh, the the reports for the week. And you were in the library with you and and Fischl and and Reggie. Yes, Fischl just called. We're going to go get a drink. You should join us. Uh, um. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I'll, I'll come to you and, and we can go yeah. together. Usual space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll call up Reggie. Hey, Reggie. Uh, how's the writing? Uh, I, I just got a recent bout of uh, inspiration in the middle of the day, which was kind of convenient, but I'm kind of concerned over where it came from because, like, like you were there, and like some other people were there. Yeah, and yeah, I'm just kind of confused over the whole thing. You, huh? What was that? I said, "Hey, at least you didn't let Evelyn slap you, huh?" How did you know? Listen, all four of us are gonna go get a drink at Angler's. I think you should come. Good. I could really use a drink right now. Yeah. So I'll see you there. All right. I'm making my way. I don't know what kind of bar that you want to have exist. I just said anglers for. for <laughs> well, that works for me. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. wonderful. Anglers, anglers is our norm. Our norm a little bit of like players build the world too, but you guys have been just doing it anyway, so. <laughs> Glad we could help. Glad to. <laughs> anglers. I'm assuming Fischl probably uh, called me from the bar. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was, I am already, I have already had a drink by the time. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm I have a table of four reserved. Before I make this phone call. <laughs> She's going to walk in. I'm assuming this is a place that all of them frequent very often. Um, and she was just going to look over the bar, you know, the bartender and be like, bourbon meat, please. In fact, this was during Prohibition times, so this is totally oh, doable, but oh, it's a little shit. bit more discreet. We're going to yeah, be in a... I looked it up earlier. Prohibition ended in 33, which is way later than I thought it did. Uh, oh, right. fuck. Um, I mean, of course, there were still bars. They had, like, little membership cards that you could, like, flash and shit. Yeah. But cool. It's cooler. Uh, All right. And I will... Uh, I'm going to ask for a hot tea, please. 
It's bourbon. Yeah. I go sit oh. next to Fischl and just pull out my books and start opening them to tell him all about these things. Oh, I never gave you the results of your no, you your role because we were oh, yeah. yeah. It took time. Um, the piece that you the little transcription that you have you've seen elsewhere associated with like near pharaohs or near um sultans or like even even in like arthurian legend you've seen it associated there too what was or, the first thing you said you cut out a little bit oh uh, I said near pharaohs or sultans or like like in Arthurian legend. So like rulers. Or there's like kings or king-like figures. So there's the thought is that piece of that word or that string of characters refers to a king. Okay, or something. It refers to a king. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, you're back. Go back. Just looked up cocktails from the twenties to figure out what I'm drinking. <laughs> we love Google. That was some brutal shit. It's a Canadian show, but I used to watch a Canadian show, um, and there was a Asian, um, like a little tiny hole in the wall Asian place they would go to. Um, and every time they ordered a hot tea, it was like whiskey or something along those lines, um, because they operated a speakeasy out of it. So that's, that's why, cool. That's where I'm awesome. calling that from. Anybody else who watches the Frankie Drake series? <laughs> Be my friend. Okay. Um, <laughs> so she just pulls all of her stuff out. She was like, "All right, I was researching that that statue. I, I'm not sure who it was, but the the writing on the base of the statue, I could remember it, and I wrote it down. And what I found is that it has to do something with kings. Um, I've seen it in in references to to pharaohs, to sultans, even in Arthurian legends. It has something to do with a king. Uh, yeah, hold on. I just lost sound for a second. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I missed, okay. I got up to Arthurian Legends and Kings, and then I, my sound <laughs> dropped out. Oh, it has to do with, in, if even seen it in Arthurian Legends, it somehow has to do or refers to Kings. Evelyn. And I'm going to take a sip of my cocktail, which I've decided is a Mary Pickford, which notably is not a sophisticated cocktail. From what I can tell, it's kind of like an advanced Shirley Temple. <laughs> um, and I think, I think, but I, I like them sweet. Um, and I uh, take a sip and I um, uh, just say, Evelyn, we just either we um just shared a, a daydream or we were uh drugged or something and taken somewhere and then drugged again and put back where we had been without time passing uh yeah, and then just take a really big sip of my mary pickford <laughs> i haven't quite figured that out yet um that is the unexplainable aspect, but we were all there, or at least we all had the same dream. Got it. And that piece of script exists. I found it. I just don't know how it's related to where we were. Do you... Do I, based, I, I, maybe, I don't know what I would roll for this. Do I think there's any chance that we could, since she's talking about, like, Arthurian legend, do I think there's any chance we could have been in, like, 
England, at, like like where we just were, or something like that. That like we were like that far away. You can like, give I, it a um, natural history. Of course, they're not geography. <laughs> natural history could do it if you've got anything in it. Um, let's see. I don't have anything in it, but I'll give it a shot. Always worth a try. I mean, she yeah. would probably know that you weren't, but go for it. Uh, I rolled decently, but not decently enough. I rolled a 35, but I only have the natural 10% in it, so. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You're thinking probably not. The mountains you saw were more like the Rockies than anything that were in England. Like mm. a big, big mountain range. Right, they don't really have those. Oh, this is bad. I think at this point is when Hazel probably walks in finally. Um, and when going to get herself a drink, uh, she points at the table with uh, Fischl and Evie at it and goes, whatever they're having, one of each of them for me. Uh, and then goes and sits down. Uh, so, how are you two? doing i i would like to say it's been a long time since i've seen you but i suspect that that's not true yeah you yeah we've all been in the same place in our dream if that's what it was or if you know, she's shared a hallucination i haven't quite figured that out yet it, oh it's not it can't be a hu hallucination okay. i mean Can I do a psychology roll about like shared hallucinations or anything like that? Just to, like we think, like I'm like I'm, I'm like at the same time. <laughs> we all convinced yes. each other we were seeing the same You're thing. Like, all right, man. <laughs> we're all gonna drop some acid all at the same time. I mean, you can see what you maybe know about them, or if there's anything, yeah, you can check it out. Roll to fifty-five. I have a um, seventy, so I did okay. Not at um, I mean, you've heard of that before, and there are some instances that are at least, like, not clear that they're complete bullshit, but this doesn't really seem to apply. Typically, when that's the case, people aren't, like, across space from each other. Yeah. There's, there's got to be like some kind of triggering event, you know, like breathing something weird together or and usually ingesting something in some way that would trigger something like that. And you guys were all far apart in your own separate spaces. That's the only bit I haven't figured out yet. Well, that and exactly where we were. I tried a... to look at some things about the building, but it's sort of an architectural mismatch, if you will. It's it's not one century, it is not one culture, it is it's a lot of things all sort of shoved into a single you know, into a single structure. It's it's unfortunately not something I have records of at the Met. What what, what about the lake? There was a lake and mountains, right? Like, I mean, we, we had yeah. landmarks. Yes, there, there, there was a lake and mountains. Unfortunately, unless those were in a painting or something like that at some point, I'm afraid I'm probably not going to be of much help, at least with the resources I have. I just rolled a 54 with a 10 for natural, um, like natural history or natural world. We're so good so at I this. I definitely don't know that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just try it, but... I I highly doubt it any better than either of you. Yeah, part of the problem is it seems like it could be. Ooh. That's better. It's better, but I don't. I only have a 10. Only the 10, yeah. Like, other than the building itself being there and the sun being a little large and, and reddish, the, the landscape wasn't super remarkable like it could have been a number of places across shit i mean canada the u.s a lot of places around the northern hemisphere really 
With some how big... we saw the sun in the sky, do you... Do you think there's a chance that we were not, you know, here? I'm gonna need you to elaborate on that. Well, I mean, you know, there are <laughs> odd things all the time, and it seems very likely that we, we, we certainly weren't in New York. You know? Come on, I quit What's Yeshiva over that... this shit. I'm not doing this. There's no way. There's a, there's gonna be an explanation for this. There's gotta be. There aren't explanations for everything, as much as you two would like to believe it. Are you trying to say it was like magic? I don't I don't know that I would say magic. Magic That's feels like a very strong word, word, but Yeah, it sounds like what you're fucking saying though. But I, but I didn't use that word. I just, you know, for the way I phrased that, I could have said the, you know, I could have meant we were in another country and you all wouldn't have known. I, you all took that context. I didn't say it. Sure, maybe, maybe, maybe we were all, all, our souls were out of body for a second. We were all in Sheol, the land of the dead, for a second. Come on, what are we talking now, about here? There are many stories about the land of the dead, so. See, I, I don't recollect any of them talking about a lake with a library, but maybe, maybe Hazel, Hazel isn't so crazy, crazy after all. all. About that time, Reggie, Reggie shows, shows up. Oh, <laughs> but his hair is noticeably crazy? like <laughs> his hair is usually pretty, pretty like, like parted, slicked, slicked back, back, neat. neat. Walks, walks in, in it is messed, messed up. up he's kind of like stumbling his coat is like kind of half on like he really threw it on to get out here goes over to the bar orders three sazeracs but wants them all in one pint glass walks over to the table throws down the book open to the page with the uh statue cloaked with uh, in yellow and then just starts chugging back this pint as they stare at it waiting for them to say something oh reggie mama cat says reggie no, has sex hair <laughs> it's cuz we're <laughs> fucked. I think I think I think if somebody tries to like say something to Reggie to stop him, officials just going to be like, "No, no, let him." You just get the look to. from the EV across the bar. To. Well, that's just three whole special. cocktails down that hatch at once. <laughs> you do what you need, Reggie. Like these? I found this in my father's notes from when he was adventuring. <laughs> Oh, so you mean actual notes that someone actually took while they were, you know, actually there. Doing things? Oh, I also have a notebook that says, uh, what if, uh, sun, but what if big, what if redder? But that, that, I mean, that is accurate. don't worry about that, right? The notebook and slides it across so she can look at it. Yeah, I meant that it does sound like Reggie notes. Hmm. It's short, <laughs> dead, but it is what happened. Mm. They're looking at th that, you'll see the same thing. That same symbol for a moment evokes that vivid memory of whatever that was just whipping out from the statue. And you you can see on the page the symbol rapidly moving for just a moment, just a split second. Roll the 20. Uh, is this a library use or a history situation? What are you looking for exactly? Um her knowledge of either that symbol or the the term of the like unspoken or that would be more a cult. Okay. Um my cult is 40 and I rolled a 20. Okay. Hey. What is what we term a hard success? As opposed to a critical. Um right? Yeah, that would be a hard success. Okay. So, tying a few things together there, this symbol, this figure in yellow, um, the word king and the word unspeakable, there are mentions of this across the occult lore that you're familiar with, but it takes a lot of different forms. It's typically, though, it's associated with, like, like, lone... Um, madmen, 
throughout occult history, like mad poets or like hermits. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, like people in the art especially have a taken into this to rambling about a, a king in in yellow with an a horrible face. Um, there there are several names that are that are referred to it by unspeakable. Um, he who must not be named. Usually in the masculine, although there are some feminine representations too. Sometimes a figure of a man, sometimes something with like tendrils, more plant-like than human. There are all sorts of very conflicting reports, but generally fall under the, the same banner of like you know, these umbrella terms that you guys have collected. Okay. Uh, so she's going to pull that and she's going to flip through her book that she had. And she's going to say, see, this is mentioned through multiple cultures. Um, it's always almost like a hermit or, or a madman. Um, Sometimes it's it, mostly it's always a man. I haven't seen it mentioned as a woman, but it is possible. But it's someone who's kind of on their own. Um, sometimes it's more of an artistic figure, um, almost like in in the Regency era when when it was popular to have a hermit with your folly, like you know, it, and it was always. Um, he who must not be named, unnamed. They had a, a disfigured face or a horrible face. Uh, some were even pictured as, as, as more plant-like than real people. But it, but it always has to do with some lone figure, and uh, uh, that they are draped in yellow and and has something to do with a king. I found it all over. Well, we clearly got to get more information about this thing. I agree, but that's as much as I yeah. have in the library. I I can check. I work. It's it's possible that we may have, um, you know, uh, paintings uh, or perhaps uh, another statue that's in the the same realm of the one we saw. I I didn't have much time to check all of our catalogs today, but I can. You can certainly make time tomorrow. You know, I probably have some contacts I can try and check in with. I, I can see if anybody knows anything. I mean, truthfully, you guys, you, you, Evelyn, you'd be one of my contacts for this, but uh, I got a, I got a few more. Well, if I you also... want, uh, if you, if you want, you can you can stop by tomorrow, as well. Um, we can make up something about a story you're writing and that I'm helping you with it or, or, or something, but it, it may help if if I got you at the museum. There are many, many, many things to pour through and, you know, I can only go through books for so long before people start asking questions. I might also talk to my friends, friends at some of the other papers and, and, and my bosses to see if them See if anybody's ever done any reporting on something like what happened to us before, like a, a shared dream or a shared uh, experience like this. Maybe maybe we get some insight into it. And I would love to go and, and look through the catalogs as well. Um, I can at least look at different time periods um, where those images might pop up more often. Of course, you, you are always welcome in the archives with me. You know that. Reggie has that cocktail treating you. A little too well. Uh, to then. go for another one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, uh, I think while he goes for another one, I think I'm going to like lean into you two a little quietly and be like, hey, um, he goes for, he goes a, for a single, not another triple. <laughs> I'm going well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stick around with Reggie for a little bit just to make sure he's uh, he's OK. Yes, yeah. please do. The man is an imbecile. Yeah. 
Well, he uh, doesn't know his own tolerance, if you will. Yeah, I think he might know, and I think he might be willingly going past it. So tomorrow uh, at the museum? Tomorrow at the museum. Tomorrow at the museum it is. She's going to gather up all of her books and shove them in her giant bag and finish her tea. Leave a nice Ooh, tea. Actually, before, before um, I guess... Reggie's the one with the symbol in, in, in his notes, yes, right? He's so <laughs> she before, she copied it down into her notebook. I'd also photographed the symbol as well. That's all. Oh no. He think he got too drunk. He blacked out. Drew, come back. Yeah. I get it. I knew it was gonna happen. He had too many cocktails. He did. Here we go. He's so frustrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had too many cocktails, my man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blacked out. Right there on the spot. Quite literally. <laughs> there we go. At this point, saw... after all your work and uh, after meeting up, it's definitely getting on toward dinner time. Or even into dinner time, um, we can go forward with anything else you guys want to do for the day. I think it might be a decent spot to wrap for the evening. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah, I would agree. Especially yeah. since like the activities that we're going to do are technically things we could kind of just like roll for to see how it went, right? Yeah. If you wanted to. Sure. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, I should have said this at the beginning, but in fairness, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've played Call of Duty. But um, anything that you succeeded in skill wise, you oh, can mark yeah. and we can roll to increase it. Oh. I forgot oh. that's how experience works in this. It's one of my favorite things yeah. about this oh. system, actually. Yeah, mine too. I love the skill system in this so much. It's the one thing so, that like I'm like, this this is like how it should work. It's like a Skyrim yeah. thing. <laughs> Even if you had succeeded in like physical stuff, it's okay. yeah. Okay. So I think the only things I actually succeeded in are you had psychology. Psychology. I had a library use success. I don't remember even why. I just know I, had I did. A fighting success. A library use success. Success. Those were my only successes. I was a big old fail box today. Ooh, and I had a spot hidden success. I think I only had mm, three. Yeah, yeah I think I only had three. I forgot about transcription. You already had a library success as well. I had that, and I also did the. Uh, had a successful dodge. <laughs> I mean, you did. That's fair. So with those, you roll for the skill, except you want to roll above. You want to roll Not above what you currently have. That shouldn't yes. be very hard. <laughs> that was easy. You got a 99. <laughs> nice. Well done. Wait, wait, wait. So, so what do I roll to increase it? I'm, I'm, I missed. I was so, trying same to thing. look something up. You roll the D100, but you want to roll above your target instead of below. Ah, okay. So library use. So if you do, how do you increase that? I think, if I remember right, you increase them by a D10, but I'm looking <laughs> at that. I think that seems high. A nat 1. Are you fucking kidding me that I get a nat one now? <laughs> oh my god. That's, That's painful. Wrong. Bullshit. Alright, my library use does not increase. Let's check my fucking um, psychology. Nope. Official would have gotten better, but then he got drunk. <laughs> so increased by a D10? Is that I'm not sure of that. Let me see. I think so, but I'm not positive. I'm just 
gonna write down what I rolled for you. That's what I did. I love that I was like, oh man, my favorite part of this game is when you increased your skills at the end. <laughs> Except when you- But, but not, not me, me. <laughs> I don't, I don't do that. But it's cool <laughs> when people do. <laughs> okay, this one, I don't think I'm gonna get better on this one. Ooh, no, definitely didn't. Okay, one, two, three. That's okay, I got a good, I got a good number in that one. I won't be mad about it right now. Oh, the other ones I succeeded in, though. For D10. I was right. So everything just goes up. I'm trying to get a question to myself. Yep, anything you you got your roll above normal? It goes up by, it goes up by, by 10? 10? By a D10. Oh, so you roll a D10. Oh, oh got it. Yeah, you roll a D10. Got it. I was like, that was too easy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming it's just because I don't have that point. I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have a security guard, but I... Uh, I'll do this to this, I guess. That's 60. While y'all do that, I just want to say this was very fun. Thank you for having me on and enjoying oh, this. We're gonna go this was great, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll go around the table. Uh, actually, we can just go ahead and do that, do that now. Yeah. We can't. I, I was sorry. I wasn't trying to rush anything. No, no, I was no. Uh, no. We're fine. I was we usually do just, this off. I, I was vamping, to be honest, is what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Michael, why don't we start with you? What have you got going on? Yeah, oh, like in. You? Well, um, you can watch my show on Dropout, which is um, actually, I say my show like it's my show, but like it's Mike Trapp's show. It no, it's, it's Trapp's. It's Trapp's show. Trapp's. I've stolen the show. It's my show now. But if it makes you feel better, since we started watching Dropout, which was a while ago, a long time ago, every time you came up on Um Actually, we were like, Michael Saltzman! That's literally what we do every time. And then when you were like, I want to play a game, I was like, what if Michael Saltzman actually played the game with us? And then it really happened. Oh, that's really, that makes me feel so good, guys. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, so watch, um, actually, uh, I, I write in, on most of the seasons, I wrote a great deal of the questions you're hearing, and I, in the most recent two seasons, three seasons, two seasons? Two seasons, it will be three seasons soon. We filmed, but we haven't aired yet. Um, uh, but, uh, Trailer comes out this Friday. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot, that's right. Thank you. you know my shit better than I do. Yeah. Well, she, I, was, she was up on it because she put a man <laughs> question every time. Uh, every and time, and you all finally used it. She got mm -hmm. so excited. She was like, hey, I'm, I may be the one who selected that. It, yeah, it might my, have been me. My Kool Aid Man question about how uh, the Kool Aid Man oh. is technically a Marvel superhero. <laughs> um, and the following oh, one's Trap picked by this the one. I remember when he did, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Trap picked that uh, one. She got mm -hmm. so I got we so were happy. So sick with COVID. We were so and sick with COVID. Messaged, messaged us and was like, "You have to watch the newest um actually." <laughs> yeah. And she that makes up, me she very went, happy. They used that question. <laughs> I was like, "Kool Aid Man is even in the name. It's gotta be in there." I'm so glad we used it. Honestly, everything awesome. about that show is just a blast. I fucking love working on it. Um, it really is. Very fortunate to be on it and what i was saying is in the most recent seasons um i'm like si I'm, I'm i'm live fact checking slash like yeah. making stupid banter with people while, while i'm on the show uh, i'm i'm the, I, I i referred to myself as the kevin eubanks of the show if that reference even does that reference even mean anything to all of you does that he was the Listen, he, like was, he, he was Jay Leno's band leader slash guitarist who would like yeah. be like, ha ha, that's funny. And um, that was, <laughs> and like, that was mostly what he did. Uh, yeah, he was great. And that extraordinarily talented jazz guitarist. Yeah. Also, um, well, 
that's what Kevin Eubanks is up to. And uh, please <laughs> move on for me. <laughs> We did it. No, got it, no. Kevin. We got you. You're welcome, man. <laughs> We're just here to keep Kevin Eubanks' career alive. That's it. That's what we're here to do. He's our only goal on the internet. You know what? I, I bet he's, he's fine. fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's great. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's living his best life. Mm hmm All right. Ryan, what have you got going on? So right now, I'm running this, our lovely Guild of Dreams adventure, which I'm really stoked about so far. And on Thursday, we're going to be opening up the uh, One Ring Second Edition game. Um, wow, whose name I actually blanked on, even though I came up with it. Shadow's Reach. Um, that'll be a fun time. So right now, I'm spending a lot of time prepping for these. Hi hey, y'all. Um, so on social media, you can find me at Moxie Blue. Um, when I am not on this show, and I am not on One Ring, uh, where I play Kari, uh, on every other Saturday, uh, starting back at the end of July, I'm back with Band of Badgers doing Wild Beyond the Witchlight, where I play Hemlock. Um, in that show, and on every single Friday, you can find me over with Kylie um, and a bunch of other very talented people, Ali Capone, Vanessa Bullet, Megan Caves, Diana Restrepo, um, and we play Ladies of Lake, which is a D&D 5e game using the Lasers and Liches compendium, um, and I play Henley, I am everyone, I am the your, your favorite band manager, um, and I am a split level 3 corporate overlord warlock, and a level three defragger over in that game. And it is the time of my life. Uh, we got to fight a pizza cube last week. So you should find out. Sentient pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight a pizza cube later in the name. So. I killed the, de I killed the disco assassin. Yes. Oh, and um, I am on Cry Never Dies um, on July 13th, um, which is over with uh, DM Hina. And it is a fundraiser. Um, with, with a bunch of prizes and giveaways um, for LGBTQ plus charities. Uh, and it's all like queer players, which is super great. So that's where you'll find me. Drew, what you doing? Where can we find you? Hey, I'm Drew. You can find me on Twitter at HNH Puppet Master or on TikTok at The Gags Beasley. Of course, being a Muppet fan that I am, I had to include the most in in deep cut joke from the first season of Muppet Show, just because it included my name in it as my handle. My grandfather, according to the show, wrote the banana sketch. Thank you. So that has stuck with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Is it true? Uh, the, it, it, in the first episode, uh, the first season of the Muppet Show, Fozzie's joke writer that he hired is the legendary Gags Beast, and so I just stole that name because you know Beasley's my last name. Yeah. I thought you were saying you actually. So, had a yeah, canonically, you know, no. my grandfather wrote for the Muppet Show. <laughs> you know what? That's fantastic. Take it. Now, I will be the one DMing or puppet mastering our Muppet Born campaign, The Isle of Inspiration, here starting soon. Soon. I promise soon. We will have the trailer. Our last the end of July. July. We will have that trailer. Yes. I. I have to ask, is it called Muppet Born because it's like a Souls Born? Like, is this like a hardcore Muppet campaign? <laughs> well, you know how people homebrew like races, races and classes, classes and things along those lines? Uh, I'm aware. Go on Reddit or just Google Muppet Born. It's a race, it's a homebrew nice. race. Uh, where Someone you play made up an entire race category for Muppet Born. Yeah. yeah. All the stats, so you tell me if I look up Muppet Born on the internet, I will not regret it because yes. I, I want to no. make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will not. Okay. <laughs> and if you instantly make a Muppet, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> be very careful about that. Don't be careful. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's terrible. That would be really yeah, bad. Don't do that. <laughs> that would be very bad. Don't do that. No, no my childhood. <laughs> my poor, poor childhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to ruin your childhood, just watch The Happy Time Murders. It's a wonderful movie. Um, I want to watch it. I've been meaning to see it's it, actually. It's so good. It's, it's, it's so ridiculous. Good. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it's so good. I made Mal watch it. Yes, she did. Totally worth it. 
I'm sorry for interrupting. I definitely no, interrupted. You're totally fine. No, we're fine. We do this constantly. <laughs> except on Instagram, where it's just Viking Mermaid, because I made that one first. Um, <laughs> uh, if you are not seeing me here as me, on Thursday, I will be playing Manuve, who is a high elf of Rivendell, and I'm so excited. Um, you can also catch me Friday, along with Mal, on Lady of the Lake, with our lovely cast, where I play Cherry Delight, the prodigy bassist. Um, who is also at, who is a bard as well as a monk um, and I'm really excited for this Friday because I get to uh, commune with my mentor Blanche Idaho who is a chain smoking hard woman who taught me how to do some kung fu um, and then on July 6th I will also be on Pride Never Dies on Jan Hannah's channel which I am so excited to do because we are playing Thirsty Sword Lesbians, which is one of my favorite TTRPGs of all time. So I've fast. heard so many good things about it's, Thirsty Sword Lesbians. It's amazing. It's so good. If I love Thirsty mm -hmm. Sword Lesbians so much. Go and just buy buy the PDFs of it. It's so oh. good. And the, just huh? reading it is wonderful. It's, it's so good. Brilliant. Um, but like Mal said, it's Pride Never Dies, so it is a fundraiser for LGBT plus um, charities. Uh, she's going to be giving away all kinds of prizes. She showed us a list of some of the prizes, and they're wonderful prizes. So make sure you tune in. Like make it. sure you donate so that you get your name thrown in for all the prize giveaways. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, but Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for so next session. Fun. Yes, so Heck yeah. Monday. Love all your characters, and uh, the, the 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 game is awesome so far, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan, for a lovely yes. Game. Thank, thank you, you so much for when I came to you at the very last minute and went, "Hey, Ryan, do you want to run another thing?" And you're like, Ryan, "Sure, now I'll, I'll run something to play a game with us. Come up with something, please. Come up with something." <laughs> I was like, "Ryan, how much do you love me? How?" much are you going to want to hurt me after i ask you to run another thing which i tend to think I, it it wasn't against, yeah i mean i was i wasn't completely against running something for this but i'm not good at prepping things very quickly because i've not gmed as much so i was like i wonder if ryan would do it <laughs> But not not, either, I would have anyway. GM something. But you know, it's exciting I'm not because I finally got to play like Cthulhu for the first time. I'm not mad about it. It's, it's a cool system. Yeah, I love this Yeah, system. I wanted to play Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Our our friend Brian yeah. has been in a regular game of Cthulhu for like two years now. Whoa. Something like, like that. As one, one character? character? No, no he's, he's not, not many, many times. <laughs> so, <laughs> multiple games. What? His, his um the guy who GMs their campaign has been running this campaign for yes, that makes sense and they have a lot of pre-generated characters where you yeah. can just grab one i was like so going. he's just yeah, like he a like shriveled a raving lunatic at this point he just kind of tosses out as yeah. people die <laughs> brian died quite a bit from what i've heard uh his character though has been going pretty strong i don't know yeah. how long i don't know brian if you're still in here but um his character has been going pretty well so yeah good for him the he's thing is like the longer you go in this game the crazier you get of there's course. no there's no good way to go here. No, <laughs> when you sign up for Call of Cthulhu, you're signing up for <laughs> it's going to be bad. It's great. Uh, yep. Is anybody on right now? <laughs> um, I am looking right now. We have a bunch of people on, actually. Uh, Don't we? Or is that us? Am I looking at us streaming us? Uh, I only see twin on right now. Do you have anybody else on your... What, for rating? Yeah. I only see Jasmine. Whoa. I don't see anybody else on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you're right. We'll raid for right now. Uh, but next week, um, maybe we'll do stream link cards. Maybe we'll try and get a stream link up. We can figure that up. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll come up with a couple tiers. Um, we'll talk to Ryan and make sure he's okay with it. Um, we'll so it that out. way, if you guys do want to donate, like I said, um, if you like what you see tonight, please follow. Uh, if you're already following and you feel like you can, feel like subscribing, go for it. 
Uh, we also have on our about. They're very nice people. people. You should do it. <laughs> We're officially endorsed by Michael Saltzman, y'all. I feel good. I'm putting that, I'm putting that on everything. <laughs> I've been officially endorsed as a nice person. Well, um, but on our under our about it's already it's already been, been clipped out. Sleep, <laughs> it's like it um, sure. Under our about section, if you click our tips banner, it'll take you straight to our PayPal. We also have our Ko-Fi on there. Um, Mama Cat, we love you. We love you so much. Lots of Thank love. you for keeping us afloat mm. single-handedly and helping Brian us outsource character art because. Yeah, it's your crazy. girl was Thank tired. You. We love Five Foot Latina. She is she is our sugar mama cat. Uh, she keeps us afloat. Thanks, mama. Um, but yeah, everything goes straight back into the channel. Uh, we love like, you too, cat. Like Mal said, our upcoming One Ring campaign. We were able to reach out to Ali Capone, who is the GM of our Ladies of Lake campaign, um, to make her character art for our One Ring game. And they're fantastic. Um, that's how we get our alerts, things along those lines. You mm -hmm. just take some off of Mal's plate, um, and we're able to kind of keep things going that way. But yes, everything goes 100% back into the channel. Um, so maybe we'll see if we can get some stream loot cards going for maybe like some re rolls or maybe a couple extra. Maybe bucks. gaining some, some of the sanity points, points back we've maybe already maybe lost, and we'll quickly maybe lose the sanity future. Point. <laughs> we'll talk to Ryan and see what he's willing to uh, concede. Let us have to, <laughs> to the audience. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. We will be back here next Monday at 9.30 with the wonderful Michael Saltzman uh, to go on to our second episode of Field of Dreams. And I will close this out with the trailer, but we will see you all soon. So thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Bye.